Noam Chomsky, the master of news media criticism, has often been disdainful of sports on TV because it diverts attention from serious things like foreign affairs. But recently, he's been listening to sports radio phone-ins in his car and seems impressed by the level of uh, insight and analysis. He says it's because people know they can't have any effect on world politics, so they shift their analytic abilities into fantasy realms like sports. I don't quite agree. I'd say the problem in foreign affairs is people can't make sense of it because, as Chomsky says, the information they get is largely propaganda by governments or experts, plus they lack touchstones in their own lives to base judgments on. In sports, they can see the events for themselves, plus they have experience to apply. So they're confident and dive right in. Take the U.S. Sunday morning news shows last weekend. They were about two things, ISIS and domestic abuse by football players. The ISIS discussions were abysmal, full of abstractions like evil and assumptions like the U.S. right to intervene anywhere. But the domestic abuse talk was serious and sober because they know viewers know football and they know home life. Just give people a chance at understanding reality, and they do pretty well. This has been a rare chance for me to disagree slightly with the master. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.